<laughs> I need more flash games. Hey Google, where can I find more flash games? I'm sorry, I don't know the answer God to that. God damn it, Google! Wait. I have an idea. Hello everyone, and welcome back to yet another fantastic Flash Games video, where I fuel my never-ending hunger for Flash Games. But this time, we have a very special guest. Welcome back, Kuro the Artist of the Ink Tank. It's been a while since we made fun of the Ben 10 movies. <gasps> That's right, Kuro. Today we thought we'd join forces and take a look at some online Ben 10 web games, since there are so many of these things that it should be classified as a pandemic. But because there's so many of them, we had to find a way to split them into two categories. Over on my channel, we we got the official Ben 10 games you probably remember from the Cartoon Network site. And right here we got the, uh, well, the bootleg ones. So, uh, it's gonna be a ride. I tried hunting down some of the weirdest and just what the hell bootleg flash games that I could find. So this is gonna be fun. But be sure to go check out our video on official Ben 10 flash games over on Kuro's channel. But not yet. Watch this one first, okay? Don't leave me, please. So, okay, where should we start? Why are my hands wet? In our quest for bootleg Ben 10 games, it didn't take long to track down websites that contained hordes of these things, with this one being my personal favorite. With such classics as Battle with a Monster, Ben 10 Saves Friend, Dangerous Emissions, Balls, <laughs> Halloween, and Bionicle Jaller. Yeah. You know, a lot of these titles look a little bit... Incomplete. I bet you I could form a sentence out of them. Let me see what we got here. Uh, Ben 10 shooting super big flaming balls on a motorcycle for girls. Yeah, there we go. That's the title. Why don't we begin with Ben 10 Armored Attack? Hey, that sounds familiar. So this is one of those flash car games that there's like a million of. Now normally the challenge of these games is trying to keep your vehicle in balance, but this car is programmed to always be upright, so that's not really an issue. In fact, I can't really think of a way to lose. In this game, you can only shoot when enemies are on screen, and it auto locks under them anyway, so all you have to do is spam the spacebar to wipe out all alien life in the area. My personal headcanon is that whenever Ben creates too many clones of himself, this is how he cleans them up. Or maybe this is Ben looking to the future of his franchise and realizing that none of his aliens of forearms gets him fucking pissed. Yeah, who needs an Omnitrix when you have a freaking missile launcher? After retiring from the hardworking job of being a hero, Ben turns to the next best thing: becoming a taxi driver. Ben 10 taxi driver. Because why not? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, I don't like this. This is the same game as before, but there's not even enemies. I can barely even see Ben in that car. This has no business being a Ben 10 game. There's not even anyone else in the taxi. Wait, why are Feedback's hands the trees? Wow, this game was clearly not meant to be played in widescreen. Oh, and the controls are so complex too. I literally held the up arrow the entire time and zoned out, and I won every level. Look, man, I'm so good at this game. Yeah, nailed it. Welp. This game isn't even Ben 10 Prison Break, it's just Prison Break. We got some real gang shit going on right here. Heat Blast, huh? Hey, wait a minute. Quickly, this city is going to be full down. Whoa, wait, how do I play this one? <laughs> this is the bounciest endless runner of all time. I genuinely can't work out what is going on before I'm already dead. All these games are the same thing, I fucking hate them. The question is, what the hell did... Is that Ben? Did we call that thing Ben? What did he do? What did you do? And of course, here is a game where Ben uses an actual rifle to gun down endless hordes of enemies. Why? I don't know. Why not? Ben 10 Survivor, eh? Well, the real game is having to survive all these atrocities, am I right? <coughs> yeah, if you can go ahead and just uh, edit in uh, some applause right there. Oh shit, he's got a gun! Whoa, I was not ready for that title screen. Oh, and it's Kid Ben now which somehow makes this even worse. Man, I don't even understand. Who are these games made for? Not gonna lie, that gun looks pretty sick, though. Yeah, now this is how they did it in the plumber days. The only enemy in the entire game is... What is that? Bane with scissor fingers? I don't remember him from the show. Why are these sound effects so loud? This game should be Ben 10 surviving Bronx, New York. Ben 10 versus Aliens. Hey, now that's something that sounds like a Ben 10 game. Why does he always have to have a gun? <laughs> In this one, you once again take control of Kid Ben and slaughter some adorable looking alien dudes. I guess once Ben realized a regular gun could do the trick, he didn't need the Omnitrix anymore. No, I've gotta admit, this game has some pretty good production value based on what we've seen so far. I love that there's Christmas music in a theme as if it's meant to be happy and cheery as Ben extinguishes an entire species. 
<laughs> Santa? Hell yeah, machine gun, bitch! Why is it so aggressive? All of these games seem to be obsessed with having you collect these green orbs that don't really do anything. Although, I gotta say, I did find myself having a little bit of fun with this one. I really love that almost every single one of these games depicts Ben as this psychopathic murderer. If we can find a single game that doesn't involve Ben shooting up people, that would be lovely. Oh, I guess I got my wish. Because just in case you didn't think Ben could be any more of a psychopath, he is Ben after he gets ripped and heads into the jungle to stab a bunch of dudes to death for absolutely no good reason. I mean, I guess it's not a gun. Can, uh, can we even joke about this one? We're not gonna get in trouble, are we? Yeah, nothing screams Ben 10 like a bootleg Rambo movie with a roided up 10 year old stabbing dudes. Man, we got Ben 10,000 push up sit ups and plenty of juice right here. You just clear your way through these sections, taking everyone out with a single knife slash and moving on to the next batch of people to kill. Who. who makes this stuff? Ben 10 accounts of first degree murder and racism. It also came to my attention way too late into the game that you, uh. you don't take damage in this game. So. Here is a game where Ben throws himself out of a plane with Team Fortress 2 music for some reason, and once again shoots everything with an actual gun. I mean, at least this is the first game to have an actually polished logo. The menu's put together pretty well too. This is kinda too well made to insult. Wow, this is like an actual game. But again, why is this Ben 10 themed? The fact that this game is, you know, actually playable makes me think that it's just a palette swap of an actually good game with Ben 10 characters slapped on top of it. Does Stinkfly not exist? Remember the Omnitrix? Ben? Are all these taking place in an alternate universe where the Omnitrix is just a watch and Ben's like a special forces trooper? All you have to do in this one is aim and shoot, as well as occasionally steering Ben away from the copious amounts of wind currents that propel him upwards for some reason. And you do eventually touch the ground, but only after about 20 years or so. The aliens are some weird mesh between Wild Vine and... Yeah, no, I actually have no idea what the hell is that. Do you actually play as an alien in any of these? Hey, I'm looking. Ooh, I found one. He is Ben 10 Fireman 2. Yes! We finally get to play as an alien in this one. Let's go. Yay! Heat Blast! Wait, I don't like that menu sound effect. Oh no. <sighs> yep, it's just vicious murder again. Wait, I don't see a fireman. Heat Blast doesn't shoot fire out of his hands, he shoots bullets, apparently. I don't know what these alien things have done, but your aim is to kill them horribly. And man, do you do exactly that. This one is a mix between hilarious and kind of sad. The explosion of blood when you massacre these harmless creatures is actually making me feel kind of guilty. It's kind of fun though, not gonna lie. This music is kind of catchy though. Alien X, master of the universe. Ah shit, look out Hal Jordan. And wow, I instantly recognize that stolen fan art. Hey, I'm not the only one who thinks there's something wrong with Alien X, am I? Wait, since when did Volcanus start working with a DNA alien? You know what, I, I actually don't even care. Oh my god, Ben, calm down! So Ben the Karate Master over here decides that the best means of tearing through his enemies is his fists of fury. Oh, and for some reason you can summon Alien X. MASTER OF THE UNIVERSE! And he flies across the screen to murder everyone some more. That's right, Ben does not turn into Alien X, MASTER OF THE UNIVERSE! He's just summoned. Okay, not that you even need him though. I mean, if I'm being honest, I'm at least grateful he's not using guns. Even if he's using Alien X like a Pokemon. And after tearing your way through D and Aliens for long enough, Volcanus finally shows up. But he's no match for Alien X, MASTER OF THE UNIVERSE! Please stop. And after Ben makes short work of him, he- wait, what? Huh? Okay, I'll just take him down too. Oh, come on! Man, there's gotta be some market for all of these broken games, because there's just so many of them. Are you telling me you don't want to play Ben 10 Overkill Apache? No. In this one, Ben is flying a plane, and it's just... I, I can't... It, it's so loud and everything's exploding! Wait, no instructions? Let me guess, you just jump around and shoot, right? Yep. Oh boy, I don't remember this episode! There's really nothing much to say about this one, it kind of speaks for itself. You know after looking at all of these games, you think I'd be desensitized to it by this point, but I just... What? There's not a single thing in that entire game that I understood. There's missiles everywhere! I just want you all to remember that this amount of death and destruction and carnage, all at the hands of a 10 year old boy. It's hero time! Ben 10 versus Predators. Yes, the Predators from the movie. No, not the kind you're probably thinking of, though that would probably make for one hell of an interesting game. They are more powerful. 
More powerful than what? Oh, and it's that image again. I take it we're still playing as Kid Ben though anyway. Yep, of course. Ah, uh, yes. The magic shoot knife. My favorite alien. God... God damn it. The game is exactly what you'd expect. You just endlessly kill predators. I'm pretty sure that's a xenomorph with knives because that's necessary. And whatever the hell that thing is. Damn, Ben can run fucking fast in this game. Without a limit to your ammo though, you can just endlessly spam the gun button or even better, have Ben just throw an energy nuke out of his hands. Not more powerful than that, huh? Why do all of these games have a useless knife attack? That right there is the illusion of diversity. Welcome to America. And hey, look at all of my kill. Ben 10 Torpedo. With a thumbnail like that, I couldn't overlook this one. Looks like a freaking Die Hard movie. I had to press play game four times in order to get to the actual game, and then I got another ad. Before you start, you're presented with an array of weapons to select. Right, Ben's signature weapons, the assault rifle and bazooka, of course. I mean, props for the gun selection screen, but uh, where's my useless knife? Zero out of ten, more stabby stabby. Oh my god, you actually play as an older Ben in this one. I mean, at least we know he keeps up his obsession with guns as he ages. The entire game is you just endlessly shooting those Denians. Whatever the hell they did to Ben to deserve this level of rage is not explained. You know, the fact that Ben doesn't just start popping bullets in the face of his enemies in the actual show is starting to seem disappointing. Good luck standing up to that, Vil Geek. <laughs> oh, and Ben makes a very interesting noise whenever he gets hurt. Someone's enjoying this a little too much. Now, for once, you actually do transform in this one with occasional power-ups as you murder enemies. You turn into Heat Blast with his trademark sniper rifle. Right, and yeah, it's only Heat Blast, by the way, just with varying weapons. I mean, we got an actual transformation in Teenage Ben, so... progress? That's how Mafia works. After conquering the galaxy and destroying all intergalactic threats, Ben 10 returns to his own neighborhood to hunt down the Mafia. You motherfuckers! You think Kevin's the only bounty hunter around here? Why is Ben after generic A-list Hollywood actor number 32 anyways? Dude, if Death Battle would just use this Ben, it wouldn't have even been a question of who would have won. Mafia hunter Ben curb stomps Alien X confirmed. I think the title here is referring to a different kind of heroin. I couldn't get the game to load, but all I saw was this, so that's enough. Gwen is definitely a toughie and always wants to be challenged. Gwen is Ben cousin and playing with balls is her hobby. Uh... XRLA Diamond Head, runner of the universe. Put that thing back where it came from or so help me. This is the most aggressive running I've ever seen. <laughs> I like how when you die, the music just awkwardly stops and never comes back. And this is literally the same thing as that Heat Blast game from earlier. Like, why are we even bothering at this point? Ben 10 parking. Never has parking been so intense. Look how ready to go Ben is. <laughs> Alright, I used to have a job valeting cars. I got this. I did say used to. What the actual fuck? I, I don't like the way he's looking at me. I'm calling the police. The first thing you read in this game is an epilepsy warning. The second thing you read in this game tells you to go catch a virus. Am I even playing? Do I have any effect on what's happening here? You know, playing these games makes me really appreciate being legal age. Because holy fuck. Oh, you think that's as bad as it gets, huh? You have no idea. <laughs> oh, fuck. Nope, you can't make me do this one. Okay, how about just one more game of Ben shooting people? Ben 10 Gang War. Yep, I've run out of jokes at this point. This is just amazing. John Wick has nothing on this. This game deadass has me jumping into the middle of the street for cheeseburgers so I can continue my murderous rampage. Ben has to fight his greatest enemy yet. That guy. A lot. I really like to think that these games of Ben shooting the hell out of people are all in the same universe. Somewhere in the Ben 10 multiverse, there's a Ben out there that just really likes shooting people. You know, if I wasn't on my third glass of wine, I would be so done with this bullshit. Well, I think that's enough of that. Forever. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to look at Ben 10 the same now. Ugh. I wanted to say I'm surprised these games exist. But I'm not. I am surprised by how well made some of them are, though. 
I will never understand the appeal of using Ben 10, who can transform into, like, anything and just slapping a Glock in his hand and giving him the old Leadhead special. And the cars! The card games, too. What's up with that? There were so many card games, it made Alien Swarm jealous. Very special thanks to Kuro the Artist for once again joining me onto this descent into Ben 10-related madness. Don't forget to go check out the video we worked on over on his channel if you haven't seen it already. Guess I'll see you over there. Thanks again, Bolt, for having me on your channel. Don't forget to check out the Ink Tank if you guys want to see our continuation of this collab collaboration where we do the officially licensed Cartoon Network games. And if you like Ben 10, you might be interested in checking out my website where I do my own crossover continuation of the series. Always a pleasure to be here, and until then, keep it fizzy. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. And remember, be good, or Ben will find you and kill you in your sleep. See ya!